Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shikimo. It's not just a cutie episode number seven reaction. All right, the previous episode, um, we go to the fireworks festival, and uh, this was like a unique case where you know they actually go to the festival from the morning. And like you know, usually what happens in anime, as we see, like they you know go towards the night time, and you know like the fireworks uh, happens, and they just like different stalls. You know, everyone just goes around and everything. That's how it goes. But I think this is like the unique one where they actually go from the daytime and spend like you know all the time up until the night. And Shikimori and you go there and they like you know kind of go around the different stalls, like the you know, the shooting stall, you know, the the ma like you know, there's like a magic show happening, food, you know, like food stalls and uh, all these stalls they go to. And in the like you know, in the evening, towards the evening. Their friends also come in, and they're gonna Hachimi, Suneko, Yama, and uh, Inuz. No, Neko. Oh my God, I mix the names up so much. Anyways, <laughs> their friends come in, and they kind of spend time together as well. And uh, after that, you know, they uh, when the fireworks starts happening, and uh, we get to see that um, what's her name? Um, Shigimori. Shigimori gets like blisters and not blisters but like you know kind of her uh, leg kind of gets a little bit uh like you know hurt and everything and she cannot walk that's why you know uh at first um you was like i'm going to take you somewhere and then like you know because of that they, they weren't able to go he like you know at, at first he was like okay let's go back but then he decided to know go to that secret place where he thought he was going to go and he was just going to carry her throughout and we see them going up like on you know, top like on and, uh, and there's like a lot of steps on top towards like an elevated platform where <clears throat> you know like he said like my dad told me this place and they go there like you know kind of uh spend some time and uh, you know like talk about stuff and everything and in the end when they were supposed to go down <laughs> you realizes he cannot do it carrying her and was almost going to fall but the dad comes in and we get to see that the dad and the mom was all like you know was there with them just behind them <laughs> that was awkward but still you know they uh, were there they kind of helped them out down and uh, yeah it was a nice episode so let's see what this episode brings this is episode seven let's start i'll be putting the subtitles on the time right here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one Go. <clears throat> okay. September. What's happening? Oh, okay. Cultural festival. Okay, don't prick yourself. <laughs> oh my god wait how mm. you're also on yeah okay Izumi filter. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, don't prick yourself. Yeah. Characters. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh my god here we go um yeah like you know like what's the word the grass is greener on the other side <laughs> oh <laughs> Oh my god. Hmm. 
All right, let's see. Cultural festival part one, okay. Three day, okay. Probably not. <laughs> uh. Wow, this is looking good. Oh, they're like advertising for the stalls, I'm guessing? No, wait. Oh, it's the token number. Oh, she, she. That's like, you know, 4 4, she, she. Oh my god. Unlucky number. Oh my god, he just. Oh, what is that? Free after party tickets. Okay. Wait. So they're doing like an animal cafe? <laughs> He's wearing the lion costume. <laughs> Inu. Inu. And Neko, obviously. What's she wearing? Oh, bunny. No. Is that a bunny? Bunny. No, what is that? <laughs> That's not a bunny. What is that? Okay. It's like a chicken, <laughs> koala. Okay, this looks fun. <laughs> you know, Inuzuka's like, I cannot. Oh, that is a bunny. Why is her ears drooping like that? What? Oh my god, this must be so difficult. Oh my god. It's a lion. Giraffe profit. Oh. oh no, unlucky Izumi strikes. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> what? How is that possible? Damn, a, a bunny saving a lion. <laughs> mm. this was an interesting like you know like usually it's like cosplay cafe now it's like animal cafe mm. library Oh, so like a recruit. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm? I won't be at the same place, so bad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's really weird. Why is there no traffic? <laughs> like, I, I, I still see no traffic in the road. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Gotcha. <laughs> Another person? Three hours. Hmm. Oh, wait. What's her name? Ka something with Kamiya. Okay, there you go. Damn, her voice. Okay. Oh, that's how he knew. Uh, like, I remember you know, her, him saying that he knew her. Hmm. Oh, okay. Short straw. Hmm. Cafe, okay. People cry, <laughs> Oh my god. Kind of like Shikimori, you know? Hmm, okay. Yeah. Here and a half earlier. Earlier. Oh, it's like a recollection. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> hmm. Okay. The bullet. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, why like Oh my god. I feel like I can see where this is going to go. Yeah, I can see where this is going to go. 
<laughs> oh yeah because he was usually like you know kind of kind of withdrawn and everything hmm Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Like, I thought he, she was, she liked him or something. Maybe I'm wrong. What the, what's happening? What? What is happening here? Why is she acting like this? What? What what's happening? Um hello. Whoa, okay, yo, calm down. What's happening? Wait, so she likes sh No, okay. Couple, what is this? Couple number? What? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the two people with the same number to be together forever. What type of a game is this? <laughs> oh lord. Go to find the one student whose number matches yours. Take a picture together to complete this. Oh! Oh, is that how they met? <laughs> oh no, what has she made up? Oh no, and I'm gonna kill him, her. Okay, that, that's a lot better. This girl is throwing me off a little bit. I'm not able to pinpoint what. Okay, because of. Yeah, there you go. That's how they met. Okay, so she liked him from the. Beginning. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> oh, he was also planning. Okay. Balloon. What? The, what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> oh god. Oh, did she? Did he drop it? Oh no. Oh my god, he dropped it. Yep. Yeah, he was like, "How is everything so going so good?" Oh wow, that's sad. Uh, he she'll be like, "Let's go and find it out" or something. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, they found it. They didn't find it. <laughs> oh no. Like, why not write it again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah, there you go. He can, he can write it down again. Yeah, he can write it down again. There you go. <laughs> yep. Mhm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, it's interesting to see how it went actually. Like I was curious as to how they started dating. <laughs> okay, that was nice. <laughs> what? What the? What's happening? What? <laughs> What? There's no number. What? Oh. Oh my god, it's coming, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, okay, you know what? Yeah, maybe I was correct. Like, in the, in the beginning, what I said, she, Kami kind of threw me off in the middle when she started asking about Shikimori. But then I'm like, okay, again, now I'm like, okay, I was correct. So... She probably liked uh, Shikimori, uh, not Shikimori, sorry, um, you. Like in the middle, she kind of threw me off. I was like, wait a minute. 
Dan ya yeah, oke. Okay. Okay, is that the end? Yeah, that is the end. All right, so that was um, episode number seven. Okay, all right, so we begin with um, the cultural festival beginning. The cultural festival has started and uh, everyone is getting ready for it. And uh, you is uh, doing like, you know, kind of suing like the costumes and all. And he is in charge of the costumes while Shikimur is in charge for the decoration. And uh, you, uh, Izumi is like, oh, like, you know, it would have been so good if I, you know, like, I was with Shikimori doing the same thing because last year was something like that. And we kind of had, like, you know, had fun and all. So <laughs> he's looking at Shikimori and he's like, oh, I'm so, I'm so envious. And uh, while on the other hand, when. <laughs> Shikimo is looking at uh, you and she's like, oh, like, you know, I'm also like, you know, she's also an, uh, like an envious of that situation as well. Like, as they say, like, you know, the grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> like, both of them are thinking like, oh, that would have been better, like, if I was there, because Shikimo is there and vice versa. So, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was like, you know, the whole thing. And uh, <clears throat> then we... Okay, then we start with the next day where Izumi is like, you know, getting ready for the, for going to school. He, he goes to the school and there's like there's someone outside who's handing those numbers to them, you know. Now, so at first I was like, wait a minute, this, is this like a token or something? What is this? You know, and uh, like, I was like, what's happening? And now I realize, understand what it was. It was actually the number for the, the couple thing. So that was what it is about. Because I was really confused. I was like, what is that? Like, why are they handing out tokens? Like, obviously, like, I mean, he's part of the school. He's one of the students. So why would he need them? Like, I could understand if they're handing out tokens to people who are coming from outside the school. But he's part of the, he, he's a student. So... I was really confused and now I understand what that was about so they basically like it's like a so this is like a random random number thing like they just hand out the tokens randomly to everyone and whoever gets whatever that's how the couple game happens and uh, like I'm guessing you know, I could see there's like two people handing out the numbers I think yeah this one was like a girl and another one was a boy and uh, i was like okay how are they doing this you know like so now i understand so the uh, the male uh, you know like the student he's handing out the like you know the numbers to the male uh, students here and the female is handing out to the, to the females and uh, that's how they're doing this okay so now one thing like Izumi says this game is really fun, huh? Like, okay, this part of this is a little bit weird. I'm like, why? Like, I guess it is a game if you think of it in that way. <laughs> but I guess he said that because, you know, the previous year it was with Shikimori. That's why he is like, oh, it's, it's such a fun game, isn't it? <laughs> because, you know, like, in the, in the previous year they, they kind of confessed and all that happened. That's why. Anyways, um, we get in the class and it's the animal cafe. Uh, you is wearing a lion costume, but like everyone is wearing like different costumes. Inu, 
<laughs> Inuzaki is wearing obviously a dog costume and Neko Yama is wearing a cat costume. Hachimitsu is wearing a bee costume. Wow. You know, Hachimitsu means honey, that's why bee. <laughs> that's kind of funny, you know, they kind of mixed, uh, like, kind of uh, paired their name up with their costumes. <laughs> okay, now, I don't know why only Inuyama's costume was like a f uh, Inuzaki, uh, nah, Inuzaki, yeah, Inuzaki's costume is, what was it, Inuzaki, Nekoyama. Okay, uh, why oh, his costume was like a full blown costume? I don't know why, <laughs> but that was funny. Okay, and Shikimori is a bunny. So, at first, I really did not realize that was like a bunny costume because you know, usually in animes, the kind of the bunny ears are kind of always perked up. <laughs> this time it was drooping. So, I was like, what is this? Like, you know, this, does, this looks like a bunny costume, but the ears are drooping so then in the end i realized oh yeah it is a bunny costume okay now the animal cafe starts everyone comes in and i have to say this is like a very interesting theme you know animal like wearing animal costumes and like kind of kind of doing an animal cafe usually what we see in animes is like a cosplay cafe or like a haunted house these type of things i think this is the first time for me actually seeing like an animal cafe in an anime you know like for the culture festival usually it's cost uh, like you know cosplay cafe or a maid cafe but yeah okay um so like, you know everyone's like snapping pictures having like a nice time uh, uh izumi is kind of struggling because you know he has to wear those gloves big gloves and has to kind of carry the stuff and he's kind of like you know tumbling and uh, falling down almost and one of the papers drop and he kind of slips on it Almost falls, but obviously Shikimori is there. He she just grabs him, and I don't know how, but she also grabbed the ice cream. Like wow, <laughs> and uh, Shikimori, <laughs> Shikimori is like, okay, like you know, don't rush around by yourself. We are all here. <laughs> okay, now that was that, and uh, they are going back, not to their houses, and uh, here. Uh, Izumi is like let's you know like let's walk around tomorrow when we have enough time and they talk about the next day where uh, Izumi is like I have like a duty in the library while Shikimori has her duty in the animal cafe again so <clears throat> Izumi is like um I'm, I feel bad because you know you'll have to do the animal cafe on your own and I'm, I'm just going to be chilling in the library but Shikimori is like, don't worry, you know, like, it's okay, you know, we, we, we've got this. So the next day, Izumi goes to the library and he's like, oh, I hope there's someone who I know. And here we meet Kamiya again. This is the second time we meet her. The first time was during that episode, during the flashback episode where we get to see the volleyball, like, you know, thing. And Kamiya is like, you know, like interacting with uh, uh, Izumi over here. Now, here, like, and obviously we kind of knew in the, from the previous episode that Kamiya knew uh, Izumi, you know, like, as, like, you know, as a person from beforehand. So here we get to know how she knew him because as Izumi says, like, we were, like, you know, members, committee members, even in the previous years. So that's how we got to know each other and uh, he, he kind of like you know there's like a little flashback of where we see like you know izumi and like you know when izumi was new to this whole thing kamiya kind of helped him out and showed him different the ropes of the whole library thing so okay now they were kind of talking and chatting and uh, okay where is it yeah, and within the like, you know, middle of it, we kind of get like an actual flashback. Now in the flashback, we see Kamiya was like, you know, all alone in the library, just reading. And Izumi comes in and Izumi is like, oh, like, you know, like, I, I'm here, like, you know, for, I've been appointed for the, for the library duty. And uh, <laughs> as always, you know, he's clumsy and he kind of messes up. So Kamiya like, like, you know, shows him the, diff the ropes of everything and like, you know, teaches him everything. And... Uh, Okay, 
Now here we can see like you know Izumi obviously like you know Izumi this is the thing about him where he just has this kind of a fascination with people who are like you know like who has like a lot of responsibilities and are, are like uh, like you know kind of do them properly that's why like you know he respects Shikimori so much because he himself is unable to do these type of things because of his bad luck you know he's not able to do these things as efficiently as properly as someone else so people like Kamiya and Shikimori you know who are able to do these kind of things so easily and who are like you know just relied on by different people he he he's really kind of like you know just fascinated with them and uh, looks up to them that's why he's like the kind of he kind of complimented Kamiya here and Kamiya is like oh nobody told me that before so here like you know here I was like oh my god is this going in that direction you know the whole direction of oh Kamiya likes uh, Izumi as well and then you know like for a moment they actually threw me off a little bit where you know after that flashback ends where uh, Izumi like and Kamiya are talking Kamiya looks at Izumi and Kamiya is like wait a minute something has changed and uh, because obviously because Izumi is a lot more confident in his things so then Kamiya is like oh is it because you have a girlfriend now and uh, <clears throat> now here's where everything kind of goes a little bit weird like Kamiya that, like you know it's like oh like you know her name is Shikimori isn't it and she's like Nekozaki told me and she's like oh like you know she's really pretty and amazing person isn't she and she's star of the like, you know the tournament you must be pretty proud and she's like what is what she like was what, what was it like you know how did you get together and then like you know she's just like you know kind of sweating and everything and kind of fidgety she says like i don't get get to talk about relationships so i was very curious what is it like and she she just grabs izumi and she's like you know i want to like and i'm interested in uh, shikimori now this is the part where it really threw me off i was like okay maybe i'm wrong you know if maybe it's not izumi but it's shikimori that she likes you know and then she's like how long have you been dating and this and that you know and like similar to that Izumi was also like wait a minute does she like Shikimori as well like this part really threw me off but there was just still one part of me which was thinking maybe no maybe she liked Izumi and that's why he is, she's asking but the way she acted ever over here was so weird like you know she just goes fidgety and everything and starts starts grabbing him and everything and I'm, I'm like what is happening it's like she's having having a panic attack but anyways um yeah okay then we shift to shikimori again and the, the whole couple number thing comes up where we get to realize what those number means actually you know it's this game that i think the, the someone like from the man management came up with i think okay um shikimori is looking at the uh, number and she's trying to find out uh izumi she she finds out that izumi is 44 and uh, shikimori is 78 so <laughs> obviously they like you know obviously this is <laughs> i'm sorry 600 people how did she expect you know them to be together like you know like the numbers to be ag again similar like the previous year anyways she's just pouting and she's like yeah you know i'm i'm not like you know with she uh, you know izumi and here like hachimitsu starts breaking the fourth wall and talking to us <laughs> she talks about how this is like a famous game sponsored by the student council i don't know i feel like this game is such a weird game like you know like I can understand it's kind of a fun game for people who do not have like you know are not dating with someone or are not in a relationship with someone but people who are in a relationship I feel like this is very awkward for them like I have no idea like you know like how this like you know how does this like you know uh. anyways but still um so yeah basically you just find out the other person and take a picture that's it 
and uh, but you know what i guess uh, people who are dating it's also okay you know like it's just a picture you know like what 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 else is it but the whole thing of oh like they would they're going to get in they're going to get in a relationship they they're like you know jinxed to be together this kind of a rumor is a little bit awkward for people who are already dating you know uh, but but the thing in itself i guess it's a very like you know harmless little thing where oh same number let's take a picture that's it and that's all and um yeah but anyways um so here we get to know the origin of shikimori and uh yuzumi dating how that happened and it was related to this whole number game <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and shikimori is like i'm going to find out whoever has izumi's number and i'm going to trade <laughs> oh god like okay you know what i guess you can also do that as well you know like maybe who's like people who are in a relationship maybe they can go and trade with the other person and yeah that might work out anyways um so here again we shift back to kamiya and kamiya is like you know asking like how other they started dating and he easily starts talking about the past so in the past, you know, like what happened was they had the same number and Shikimori and Izumi and then that's how they started talking. And we need to re realize that at this moment, both of them actually liked each other. It was not like the first meeting or something. They knew each other, they liked each other. And it was just like the opportunity to, that gave them the little push that they needed. So, you know, both like and Izumi all, already had, like, you know, like decided to confess that day. And Shikimori was also probably was going to confess or something so you know and we kind of see what happens like they go to the different like stalls and everything walk around and uh, you know they were both were like very embarrassed throughout the whole section and when they go to the final like you know thing where they're going to snap the picture and uh, like disaster strikes izumi has lost the the little thing with the number on it so izumi is again izumi is like oh my god it again happens like you know all the time whenever something good happens somehow luck completely goes down on me and i i cannot like this always happens and he's like oh izumi is also probably fed up with me and He's like, um, I lost my thing and will probably never find it. But Shikimori is like, no, don't give up, you know, let's go and find it out again. And Izumi is like, it's impossible. But here Shikimori says, let's change that today. Now, this is an interesting thing, you know, like, because I feel like this is one part, like, you know, of like, you know, one thing that is heavily intertwined with luck is effort you know like luck in itself won't actually give you everything there's there's people who are lucky people who are not lucky you know but you know like people who are lucky if they use that luck and give in the right effort they can go like you know they can go a long way but obviously there are people who do not utilize that luck by not putting enough effort but at the same time, people who are not lucky, if they put enough effort, they can get lucky, you know, like effort in itself is so heavily intertwined with luck that effort, the, like, the putting the right effort can actually make something to your advantage, which in itself will turn the whole thing lucky for you. So that's why, you know, like here, as soon as Izumi was like, oh no, like, you know, because obviously he has gone through this situation so many times, he's like, oh, it's impossible. Nothing can change the outcome. But Izumi is like, let's change, uh, Shikimu is like, let's change this today. And uh, as soon as Izumi thought that, okay, I will put in the effort and try to find out that, you know, his luck changed. His luck changed and they were able to not find the <laughs> thing, but still, you know, the outcome, the F, like, you know, the a final outcome where they go to the, the guy who was like, you know, uh, in, the, in, the, in the stall. And they're like, oh, like, you know, we weren't able to find it, but, you know, we have the same number. And in the end, the guy was like, all right, fine. The guy wrote the whole thing and the guy kind of said that good luck because he realized that Izumi liked him and it was like, you know, mutual, like, you know, feelings for each other they had. That's why he did the, like, you know, the, like wrote that and gave it to them, helped them out. So there you go. As I said, like, you know, they put in the effort. That's why it was rewarded. 
by them getting a good outcome, which in itself is lucky. So effort and luck is very much intertwined with each other. Like you can be as lucky as you like, you know, can be. You can, you can be the luckiest pe person in the world, but if you don't put in the effort, that luck is just going to fade away. But at the same time, you can be like, you know, you can have no luck, but if you put in an, enough effort, you can actually bring luck to yourself. So I feel like this is one thing that we should like, you know, like think. And um, Izumi is like, you know, like one of those examples where he doesn't have that luck. But through his effort, he is able to accomplish stuff that a lot of people wouldn't even dream of. You know, for example, he was able to like you know start like you know a relationship with the person he she he liked. You know, how many people are able to do that? You know, like, you know how many people are able to become successful in their relationship? You know, like very less amount of people, people who are lucky, are able to get a perfect relationship. But he has been able to do that. So there you go. That in itself shows. Even though he is so unlucky, through the proper effort and you know, like perseverance, I guess you could say, you can be lucky. And yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, they take the picture, and uh, then after that, you know, as Izumi is saying, that they go, like you know, back to the, in the back of the gym, and Izumi confesses, and uh, Shikimori, you know, like grabs him and hugs him. That's how he they start the relationship. And after hearing that, Kamiya is like, oh, that's the best tale of youth I've ever heard. <laughs> now, here we can see that, again, like, you know, Kamiya is like, oh, I see, and kind of looks down. Uh, I do, I still think that it's probably like, you know, Kamiya kind of liked Shikimori, uh, not Shikimori, sorry, um, like Izumi. And after listening to this whole tale and everything, probably realizes that ah i i missed my chance or something like that you know like maybe she is like oh i should have said something about my feelings before i don't know this is just my guess you know but the way she's acting here is a little bit you know unusual and i i feel like that that was probably the case you know she actually liked using a little bit and uh, she, she's probably just regretting it now not asking him out when the time when he she had the time and like you know when they met uh, like you know they Izumi was not dating anyone that's probably why she she feels you know yeah I don't know maybe maybe that's what's happening I'm I'm sure I will get to know in the future uh, like you know, not the future but in the in, in the next episode only I'm I'm guessing we'll get to know because we see that Kamiya is has like number forty four the number. So I'm guessing the next episode will be something like Shikimori is probably going to try to find out who, who has the number and they're going to confront Kamiya and something's probably going to happen. We'll see. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure we're surely going to get our answer next week. Probably not next week because I think next week there, you know, like there, like the schedule, like the next week this is not going to air. There's like some other thing is going to come out. So. The week after that, like an you know, episode eight is, I, I think so. Episode is eight is not going to come the next week, but the week after that, something like that, I think, as far as I can remember. But either way, you know, the next episode, I'm guessing we'll get to know and we'll have an answer. So yeah, that's it. Um, this was a good episode. Like we can get to see the origin, and I was curious about how they started dating. So there you go. I have my answer, and uh, yeah. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This was my reaction to Shikimo is not just a cutie episode number seven. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week uh, or probably the, the week after that with another episode of Shikimori is not just a cutie. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.